Now before we begin creating pages inside of Dreamweaver, what I'd like to do is to explain the welcome screen. It's something that you'll be confronted with as soon as you open up the Dreamweaver working environment. And we'll be talking more about all of the different elements inside the work environment as we proceed. But first and foremost, let's start with the welcome screen. Basically, what the welcome screen allows you to do is to open up recent documents, which is a very, very useful way of working with your files and working with the most recent files that you've opened. It also allows you to open any existing file, whether you've worked with it recently or not. And to do so, all you would have to do is to click on this little button right here, and what that would then do is to allow you to select any number of different files wherever they happen to be located on your computer. Also, you'll note that within the Dreamweaver welcome screen, you can see Create New. And what that allows you to do, as you can see here, is to create a new HTML page, new Cold Fusion, PHP, JavaScript, any number of different types of pages. It also allows you to create a new fluid grid layout, which is a new feature which we'll be exploring later on in another video. It also enables you to define a site, and we'll be able to do that in the next video as we will proceed with our work. As well, if you wanted to create a number of other files, you could click on the More feature over here. And this will allow you to create blank pages, template pages, and as you can see, the blank pages have a number of defaulted types of pages that you can choose from, HTML5 included. And we'll explore more about this as we proceed as well. Also, creating fluid grid layouts and page from templates, among other things. As well, the Dreamweaver welcome screen allows you the opportunity to see information about new features. So top features videos. A lot of these features are new with Dreamweaver CS6, many of which we'll be discussing. But if you want to get some more information about things that we won't be discussing in this tutorial, you can take a look at any number of these files that you'll find right here. Of course, you can go to more and what that would do is to open up Adobe TV and you'll find many more videos there. Also, there are videos on getting started, new features, resources, as well as Dreamweaver Exchange. And Dreamweaver Exchange is also something that we'll be taking a look at, which allows you to extend Dreamweaver's capabilities, download widgets, plug and play them into your particular pages that you're working on, among other things. Now, every time you open up Dreamweaver, the welcome screen will always be there. However, there is an option that says Don't Show Again. And I'm not sure why you would want the welcome screen not to show, but if for whatever reason it does not show, you can always access it one more time by going to the Preferences. Now, if you're on a Mac, you would find those preferences under the Dreamweaver menu that you'll see here. And there it is, Preferences. Command-U is the shortcut on a Mac. However, Control-U is the shortcut on a PC. And if you are on a PC, you can find your preferences under the Edit menu. However, given that we're on a Mac, and if I wanted to go to the Preferences, you'll notice right here that there is a category called General. And in the General category, one of the very first things that you'll see here says show welcome screen. So if you want to see the welcome screen, if you accidentally disabled it, you can always come back here and turn it on again. So let's proceed with a few more other things related to the Dreamweaver interface in our next video.